Hey everyone, Dr. Melissa Longo here. I wanted to talk to you this week in your Thrive in Five quick video about baseball. You know, I love baseball, I love watching it. It's full on baseball season with both my sons. They actually both have games tonight. You can see where my allegiance lies uh, at our hometown team. And uh, we certainly love to watch them play as well. Now, something that I wanna remind you of, if you're playing baseball, you know, obviously uh, recreationally, we're talking about your everyday sort of athlete. The number one thing that people forget to do is properly warm up. Now, I get it. My son says to me, Mom, the reason I'm going to play baseball is just to hang out with the guys. Not really a lot of intensity. They're not super competitive. They just want to get out and move their body, be outdoors, and have some fun. However, if you don't warm up your body properly in any sport, the potential for injury is always there. So I want to take you through a couple of quick stretches that you can do if you're playing baseball, and hopefully this will help you prevent some injuries for yourself. Obviously, the first tip I'm going to give you is to go through some kind of dynamic warm-up. So if that means uh, going for a quick run or jog around the diamond, uh, if you can bike ride to the diamond that you're playing at, that's what I always have my son do. Um, something to get your body warm, to get the blood flowing, to get your circulation going, to get your body ready to perform. Then once your body is warm and you've gone through some kind of dynamic warm-up, then the next thing you want to do is start stretching, especially the muscles that are involved in if you're in your throwing arms, right? I mean, obviously baseball can be a either long, <laughs> boring kind of sport, depending on how active the activity is uh, in the play, or it can be uh, really dynamic and requiring, you know, fast running, requiring dynamic movement, lateral side to side, forward, up and down, you name it. So we're gonna focus here today on some stretches for your upper body. The first one being, you know, the good old arm circles. You know, just starting with your arms like this and moving forward. Do, you know, and I'm not gonna tell you to do a certain number or a certain um, amount of time. You're gonna feel them in your arms pretty quickly, depending on the strength of your arms. But let's say aim for 20 to 30 arm circles one way. You can start really small and then get the circles, you know, much bigger. Then you're gonna obviously reverse them and go the other way. Once you've done that, the next thing you can do is we call them over and unders like this. You know, same thing, 20 to 30 times. And the goal here is to start to increase the circulation in your shoulder joints, right? So arm circles are gonna be great. Not only doing the arm circles like this, but bringing your arms in nice and tight and really doing some tighter shoulder shrugs, forward and back. Really focus on getting the blood flow moving to those joints. After you've done that, you can start to interlock your hands like this, and you can push your hands together, pull them apart, push them together, pull them apart. Again, you're gonna feel the contraction, and the separation. Ideally, this is gonna to start to warm up some of your chest muscles as well. Do that a series of 20 to 30 times. Once you've done that, you can keep your arms interlocked like this, and then also start to do, we call it a swim. Doing this one always reminds me of that move, that break dance move, which I can obviously not do. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you need to put on some music while you're doing this, I could bring out a whole other element of your, of your warm up routine. But the point is, have some fun with it, get your teammates involved, and start warming up those shoulder joints. Now the last thing I'm gonna tell you to do is to take the baseball, and uh, you can definitely use this to increase the mobility. You can start to use it on your chest muscles if you're feeling like your, your pecs are tight from some of this kind of movement. You can certainly use it on your forearms to increase the circulation in your forearms. You can use it on your hands just to get the wrists moving. You can lie on the grass, on the field during your warm up and stick this behind your shoulder blades and roll it. These are great to use for mobility as well as obviously to play the game. So I hope you remember these quick tips. Obviously, in addition to your shoulder mobility, you wanna make sure that your neck is moving properly and that involves, you know, take a look at the video I did on shoulder um, not shoulder, sorry, cervical stars, you know, doing the up and down motion, the rotation through your neck, shrug your shoulders, and get ready to have a good game. I hope this helps. Remember, warming up is always going to be important to help you prevent injuries, and I hope this warm-up was a brief one to help you as well. See you next time.